All right, welcome to the June Zone, part three, the final part of the Blu-ray collection video that's haunting my every dream. Um, yeah, I don't know why I decided to do this. I hope someone out there likes this because this is taking very, very long and I'm doing this all in one night. Now, I am expecting a few Blu-rays in the post, which if they arrive before I edit this part, essentially, part three, which they probably will, then I'll add a tag at the end of this uh, part to show you the updates. Um, this is as it stands at the moment. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, first up we have the Nolan section of my collection, the Christopher Nolan section, um, starting with the Inception briefcase. Um, very cool set. Um, and then we have Inception again. Um, I want to get the steel book for Inception as well. Uh, then we have the Dark Knight trilogy, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises. Um, I want to get these in 4K, even though I don't have any way to play 4K yet, um, because I want those to be the first movies I'd watch in 4K. Um, Interstellar, Digibook. Very nice. This is a new edition. It's the Dunkirk Digibook. This is probably my least favourite Christopher Nolan movie, but it's still a fantastic movie. Um, and this I got for $9.99 on eBay, brand new, which is crazy. Uh, they usually go for more than that. Um, and this has got a in-date digital copy, which will be part of the competition if you get me to 150 subscribers. Um, you could win Dunkirk. The di digital download that that, is, that will be one of the prizes. Um, Memento and The Prestige. These aren't in any particular order at the moment. Um, I feel like they should be, but I kind of want the digi books next to each other, so it's, it's quite difficult to work that one out. Um, right. Next is my regular Blu ray MCU collection. Because obviously most of my MCU uh, Blu-rays are sealed. And now I have Disney Plus so it renders these Blu-rays useless. But I, I like, I'm a collector. I like to have um, complete collections. And I am missing four um, Blu-rays which I will be getting. Um, but let's get into it. Starting with Iron Man. This is the ultimate two disc uh, edition. Which was the only version on Blu-ray I would get. Um, I, I came across so many good deals on the one disc one, but I was like, nope, it has to be two disc. Um, because of the special features, basically. Uh, the Incredible Hulk, I didn't pay $19.99 for it. This was in a charity shop. I paid, I think, a pound, or maybe even two pound. It was the same time I got the 2012 Steelbook, actually. Um, but that price sticker is a uh, HMV price sticker. So it's crazy to think at one point, Blu-rays were 20 quid, 20 quid each. Um, Iron Man 2, triple play. This is a really strange thin case. I don't know why it was released like this. Um, we don't normally get cases like that. It's normally more of an American um, thing. But that's a, a triple play, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. Um, Iron Man 3. So as you can see, right off the bat, I am missing... Um, Captain America, the first Avenger, four, and Avengers Assemble. Um, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, this is my favourite MCU movie. That feels empty. Oh, it's got, it's got a disc in it. It just feels really empty. Um, yeah, that's my favourite Marvel movie. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. This one also feels empty. What's going on? There's discs in them. It just feels empty. Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, so that's... What three films in phase three? Oh, I'm missing four The Dark World. I'm actually missing five Blu rays here. So I'm missing a four The Dark World. Um, Avengers Age of Ultron 3D Blu ray. I have quite a few 3D Blu rays. I don't have a 3D Blu ray player or a 3D TV. Um, but there we go. Um, sometimes they're cheaper um, and sometimes they've got nice slip covers as well. Uh, Ant Man. Captain America Civil War, the Iron Man slipcover. I want to get the Captain America slipcover. That's my next 
mission um, for that. Uh, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, um, Black Panther, and this is these, like, newer slip covers. I'm really tempted to get them all again in this slip cover and then sell the other ones, but these are really expensive to buy. <laughs> Brand new, they're like 10 quid each. Um, so, I don't know, maybe. Um, plus some, some of the newer ones don't have those, so it's quite hard. Um, but yeah, uh, Avengers Infinity War. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Avengers Endgame. And Spider-Man Far From Home. So that's the MCU collection. Um, I, I'm, I've got a whole like shelf row out at once, realizing that it's actually really difficult to fit them all on a table. Um, here we go. Um, Skyfall. This actually doesn't have the Blu-ray disc in it because it's in the Bond 50 sets. So this actually, as you'll see here, has the DVD digital copy disc and this bit, which says, uh, this, this space is reserved for Skyfall, um, which is why I put it in there. If I ever come across um, a just one Blu-ray, um, of, of Skyfall, I might pick it up just to put a Blu-ray back in the case, but you know, it's, it's not a necessity. Um, Sorry, that was uh, my dog scratching the door. He doesn't like to be left on his own, bless him. Right, so, Skyfall. Um, Casino Royale, Deluxe Edition. Um, I got this because it includes some special, some extra special features. It's in this fancy packaging as well. Um, plus, Casino Royale is one of the better Bond movies. Um, I always thought this was a 15 release though, for some reason, but it's not. It's a 12. I knew the film wasn't a 15, but I had a feeling this set was a 15, but clearly not. Um, but yeah, it just includes a bunch of special features. Um, two Guns with Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg. Decent movie. 310 to Yuma, the remake. I really like that one. Love this film, 10 Things I Hate About You. Heath Ledger is one of my favourite actors. And this is a Amazing movie, 12 Years a Slave. Chiwetel Ejiofor is absolutely magnificent in that movie. 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Streets. 300. Love this movie. 500 Days of Summer. Uh, the A Team, Explosive Extended Edition. This has got, um, interchangeable art cards so you can have uh, Hannibal Murdoch B.A. Baracus or Face as your cover I tend to keep it on Liam Neeson um, who played Hannibal uh, this was alright it's got nothing on the TV show but you know it was alright um, a million ways. Well, this actually says a million extended ways to die in the west. To die in the west because it's an extended cut with alternate open opening and ending. That was alright. It was pretty funny. Um, American Hustle. This is one of those Blu-rays I haven't opened. It was from Poundland, um, so it was two quid. This is a great film. Though. I've seen it. Uh, I just haven't got around to watching it again. Um, an education. This was also a pound land buy. This I haven't watched yet. Um, 
but I, I will get around to it eventually. Argo, extended the cut, great film. Uh, Arthur, um, meh film. This is one of the ones that I'm thinking of selling. Um, I've got a few, few Blu-rays I'm thinking of selling that I'll, I'll mention um, as we go through. But yeah, I'm thinking of selling that one. Um, Avatar, the collector's, uh, extended Blu-ray collector's edition, which has got uh, an original theatrical cut, collector's extended cut, special edition re-release, family audio track, which is all, object all objectionable language removed. So it's got uh, four different cuts of the movie. Um, I, I like Avatar, but I think it's a little bit overrated, and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for that. This is the Panasonic uh, exclusive 3D Blu-ray of Avatar. Um, so it's just the 3D disc, but it came with my dad's 3D Blu-ray player. Um, and the Back to the Future trilogy box sets. Um, right, let's keep going. So I was, I was putting the Blu-rays away. And I realised uh, I completely forgot to go through an entire stack of Blu-rays. Um, this is how you know you've been making a video for too long in one evening. Um, so I apologise if you just see me slowly go mad um, throughout the course of this part. Um, but I'm trying to film all the parts in, in one night for a bit of consistency. There you go. Uh, bad Teacher. Uh, Pretty funny. Um, Batman 89. Love this one. Batman Returns. Yeah. Batman Forever. Not good. But I have a soft spot for this one. Um, this is terrible. But I have such a soft spot for it. I've had so many evenings. Drunken evenings. Uh, watching this movie. Where we play the Batman and Robin drinking game. And we get pizza. And it's always such a laugh. Um. But the film's like over two hours, so I, I never understand how we managed to do it. Because anytime I try to watch it sober, I can't get past the back credit card scene. And that's like an hour in. Um, so that's, it. I think that's an achievement. Um, the Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. Love these. These are great uh, DC animated movies. I'm a big fan of the DC animated movies um, and I plan to get a few more on Blu-ray because I don't have many on Blu-ray. Um, I want to upgrade my DVD copy of the Batman 5 animated film collection. Uh, they do a Blu-ray version of it but there's one film in it that's different from the thing. I think it's Mask of the Phantasm because I don't think that's had a Blu-ray release in the UK. Um, Batman The Killing Joke not the best animated film, but The Killing Joke is my all-time favourite graphic novel. So, obviously I had to get it on Blu-ray. Um, Black Swan, great movie. Weird movie, obviously, because it's Darren Aronofsky. Um, Blair Witch, you will have seen me pick this one up recently. Um, haven't watched it, mainly got it for the red case, because I'm going to put the red case on. What am I going to put the red case on? Rush, that was it, because I've got the slip cover coming for Rush, so yeah. Uh, the Book of Eli, I haven't actually watched this one, I've had this one in my collection sealed for many years, uh, and I still haven't watched it yet. In fact, the place I got it from doesn't exist anymore, so that's how long I've had it. Um, the Book of Life, this is another one that I picked up in Poundland quite a while ago, actually, um, and I've never watched it. Um, it, it, I think it had quite a good Rotten Tomato score, but also Diego Luna, Zoe Saldana, you know, and it's a, um, it's a 20th Century Fox film, it's, a, it's an animation, it just, I don't know, it looks like it, it is good, but I don't know, I need to get around to watching it. Um, the Bourne Identity, I need to upgrade. Uh, the other two film, the, the other two from the original trilogy of those films, which I have on DVD, but I don't have on Blu-ray. Brick, absolutely outstanding movie from uh, Ryan Johnson, um, and this is 
uh, 10 years of Optimum releasing. So this is a special Blu-ray by the looks of it. Um, honestly, can't remember where I got this. Uh, but I've honestly never seen it on Blu-ray ever since I got it. So, there you go. Uh, Buried. This is a decent movie. Um, what's that sticker for? Includes debut feature, The Contestant. No, well, I've not watched The Contestant. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've watched this on Blu-ray, but I've not watched The Contestant, so I don't know what that is. Um, the Butler. I haven't actually seen this movie. Uh, but I've heard really, really good things about The Butler. Um, it's got a great cast as well. Forrest Whitaker, Oprah Winfrey, John Cusack, Jane Fonda, Cuba, Cuba Gooden Jr., Terrence Howard, Lenny Kravitz, James Marsden. Wow, it, the... Alan Rickman, Robin Williams. Man, why have I not watched this? Alright, I've got to watch this soon. Um, I've heard really good things about it. My, wow, the cast is exceptional in that movie. Uh, the campaign, yeah. This one I'm thinking of selling. I don't know. I don't know, it's such a good one to watch late at night, but it's just not a good movie. Um, the remake of Carrie... For a while, I used to have a big crush on um, Chloe Grace Moretz. We're a similar age, um, so I sort, of, I sort of grew up with her movies. Um, but she doesn't do it for me the same way that Emma Stone does. Um, so she doesn't get her, she doesn't quite get her own section in my collection. But you never know. Uh, the Change Up. This is one that I'm thinking of selling because I think, yeah, the disc is horrible on this one so this one needs I need to get a new one basically I need to get a new copy of the change up um because the disc is horrible on on this one um child's play the original I want to get the remake as well uh Chloe this was a recent pickup Cloverfield I've seen all right we've we're this is the halfway point uh ish and um, once we get in, sort of halfway into this then we're at the halfway point of the collection so let's jump in Chronicle great great found footage movie directed by what's his name oh uh, Josh Trank that was it it was going to do a Boba Fett movie um, you know that didn't happen and made a bad Fantastic Four movie as well uh, Colombiana the, the case on this is horrendous so this is one that I was be looking to get a replacement for the crazies with a lenticular slipcover. I think this is a remake, um, but I've never seen the original. So, uh, Deadpool with the red Amore case. Um, one of the Blu rays that I've got coming actually is Deadpool 2 um, to you know complete the Deadpool. Um, Despicable Me. Obviously, I need the other two. Devil's Double. Never seen it. This was a Poundland buy, I think. Um, Die Hard with a Vengeance. Seen it. Haven't rewatched it before. Uh, Die Hard 4.0. I need the other Die Hard movies. Um, Dinner for Schmucks. Pretty good movie. Um, District 9. Great movie. Django Unchained, great movie. Don John, that's pretty or pretty decent movie. Um, not sure where I'm gonna keep this one. I probably will. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire, haven't opened this actually, but I have seen Mrs. Doubtfire. It's a great movie. Uh, Robbie Williams, it's a, Ro Robbie Williams. It's a Robin Williams classic. Um, Drive, this is a really good movie. Ugh, Dream House, this is one that I might sell. It's a bit rubbish. Um, Elf, that was a recent pickup. Obviously, I've seen it. Great Christmas movie. Exam, really great underrated movie. Uh, Expendables 3. I haven't actually seen the third Expendables. Um, I got the other two as steelbooks. So I need this one as a steelbook, and I need those two as a regular Blu ray. Uh, Face Off, this is one of my faves. Love Face Off. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, that's another classic. Fight Club, great movie, uh, and The Fighter, that's a great Christian Bale 
Flick, Christian Bale, Mark Wahlberg, Amy Adams. Um, next, we have Five Year Engagement. It's a pretty decent comedy. Foo Fighters Back and Forth. This is a great documentary about the making of uh, the album Wasting Light. It's um, from cassette demos to Wembley Stadium to the worldwide number one record Wasting Light and every triumph and tragedy along the way. Over two hours of behind the scenes of Foo Fighters. It includes full length documentary along with over 35 minutes of DVD only bonus scenes. Although in this case it would be Blu-ray only. Um, yeah, it's a great documentary. It's like a three hour documentary. Um, but Foo Fighters are really interesting. Um, Fright Night, the remake, love that movie. Frost, Nix Frost Nixon, Frost slash Nixon, however you're supposed to say it, that's a great movie. Um, it's got a Michael Sheen who just, you know, transforms as characters. Um, Frozen Ground, this is a pretty decent movie. Um, it's uh, Nicolas Cage, John Cusack, uh, Vanessa Hudgens, uh, and Curtis Jackson. Get Him to the Greek, that's a s sort of sequel to... Um, it's a sort of sequel to Forgetting Sarah Marshall, that's it. Because it's the same, Russell, Russell Brown plays the same character in both movies. Um, the Gentleman, great movie. Sorry, in cinema, haven't rewatched it yet. Uh, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo remake. Uh, it's a cool little set. This bit badly beaten though, because I think I got this in a blockbuster back in back in the day. Um, Nomeo and Juliet Blu-ray DVD combo. Ooh. Gone Girl. This is a really nice set actually. So this has got like uh, Amazing Amy. Uh, Tattle Tale book, which I believe is the children's book in the movie, which is really cool. Um, and it says, Search for Amazing Amy continues. Haven't watched this film for ages, actually. I should, uh, I should watch this again. I really like this movie. Ben Affleck, Rosamund Pike. Um, I think it's isn't it like a isn't it like a three hour movie though? It's the only thing. Um, let's have a look. Run time, run time, run time. Give me a run time. One hundred forty two minutes. So six minutes now. One hundred twenty is two hours. Uh, oh, so it's only two hours and twenty two minutes. I don't know why I thought it was three hours. Um. Green Room, this is quite an interesting movie, um, with Anton Yelchin and Patrick Stewart, uh, and also Imogen Poots, um, yeah, interesting, that movie, um, Hancock, decent flick, Hangover Part 2, probably one of the worst sequels to a comedy, um, the Heat, haven't seen this one yet, that was a recent pickup. Hitting the Apex, which at the moment is in my collection, but this might be one that I'm selling, I don't know. Um, that's a reason to keep it sealed for now. Horrible Bosses, I still need to get Horrible Bosses too. I'm a big fan of both Horrible Bosses movies. Um, Horton Hears a Who, this is a really cool slipcover actually. It's the magnifying glass. Which is really cool. Um, that's a decent flick. Uh, Jim Carrey, Steve Carell. Uh, the Hunger Games, the first one. This is a red case. Um, I do like. I do like the red Amory cases. Uh, yeah, it's all right. I'm not a big Hunger Games fan, so that might be one that I'm that I end up selling. Uh, I love you, Philip Morris. Really like this. Uh, I really like this film. It's supposed to be a Blu-ray and DVD combo, but I got this from a blockbuster which is why it's got that inside it it's got the little sleeve that says blockbuster blue dash i love you phil uh 11th of december 
2012, um, which isn't the year, that's not the date I bought it, that's the date that it was obviously, you know, first arrived to the Blockbuster, and it cost four quid. Um, not sure why it doesn't have the DVD, it might just be because it's a, a rental copy. Um, if I Stay, this is quite a good Chloe Grace and Moretz movie. Um, the Inbetweeners movie. The Inbetweeners 2. They're fine comedy movies, the Inbetweeners movies. Um, I'll probably keep them. Uh, next, we have the 100th, 100th anniversary of Universal Collector's Series Jaws. Digibook. Um, really nice release that one. Uh, guilty pleasure of mine. Jennifer's body. Johnny English reborn. I'm either gonna sell this or get the other two uh, on Blu-ray. I haven't I haven't really come to a conclusion on that yet. I might get uh, the the triple pack and sell this. Um, Jurassic World, I've got Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom coming. This one I haven't watched actually, this is a Poundland one. I haven't opened it yet. Um, but now I've got Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom coming, I'll probably open it and watch both. Because um, I haven't seen Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom since... Well actually, haven't seen it since cinema. But then saw bits of it recently on TV and it's not great. Um, Kick-Ass 2, uh, I want to get Kick-Ass 1, either as a steelbook or as a Blu-ray. So I've at least got them together in one place. Uh, Kingsman. Uh, I need to get Kingsman 2. Night and Day. Decent little action movie. Knowing. That's a decent little Nicolas Cage flick. The Lego movie. I need to get the Lego movie 2. The Lego Batman movie. That's probably my favourite. Um... Well, it probably goes for me Lego Movie, then Lego Batman Movie, and then Lego Movie 2. Um, Lego Batman, the movie, DC Superheroes. Uh, Le Mans 66, I haven't got around to re-watching this yet. Lesbian Vampire Killers, this is probably one that I'm going to sell, because this is not a good movie. The only thing that's making me not want to sell it is Paul McGann is in it. Um... Uh, and I've got a bit of a soft spot for the fact that he's in it. Also, it's a slipcover Blu-ray, which is really weird. I just feel like I just feel like I'm never gonna see it again on on Blu-ray if I sell it. So I might end up keeping it. Um, but yeah, it's a bad movie. Um, what is funny is on the slip it says warning may display sexu sexually suggestive cover image. Uh, there and it's over the word lesbian um, and that's like part of the artwork uh, and it's on the case as well it's really fun uh, really interesting yeah this is a shocking movie though uh, not really sure uh, what anyone um, was thinking Les Miserables this is the digibook version great movie it's a great musical it's my favourite uh, Let Me In, the remake. It's a remake of uh, Let the Right One In. Um, from the director of Cloverfield, which is Matt Reeves. Yeah, interesting. Um, Life, I literally just watched this today. Really enjoyed this movie. Should have seen it in cinema, I don't know why I didn't. Um, the Lincoln Lawyer is a great Matthew McConaughey movie. Uh... Lock, this is one that I'm probably going to sell. I did not like this. Um, it's just an hour and a half of Tom Hardy in a car. And it's, you know, not very dramatic. I feel like, I, who is Stephen Knight? I know Stephen Knight. Filmed by Stephen Knight, what's he done? I know that he's done some movies. But yeah, I might sell that. Um, Logan Lucky. I really like that movie. Um, Looper. That's one of my favourite movies. London Boulevard. That's a decent movie. Love Actually is a Christmas classic. 
Oh, right. This was a Poundland buy. Uh, I've seen it, but I haven't seen it since buying it from Poundland, and that is The Martian. It's also a Blu-ray 3D release. So it's got the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, and digital copy, which the digital copy has expired. Uh, the mask, I absolutely love the mask. Um, the mechanic, yeah, this one I might sell. Uh, Men in Black, and Men in Black 2. This Blu-ray was my mum's. Uh, but because we were getting rid of some DVDs, we condensed the Blu-rays into one collection. So I've now sort of inherited Michael Bublé, Caught in the Act, um, which I believe is a live Blu-ray um, of Michael Bublé. But there you go. Uh, Stephen's, uh, Stephen King's The Mist, two-disc Blu-ray. This, I'm um, thinking of selling. Uh, Mission Impossible 1 to 3. It's the same issue I have with the uh, with the um, Pirates of the Caribbean release where it's sort of a bare bones Blu-ray. It's got some of the special features but um, I, I just I would prefer to have them individually mainly because I have Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol Mission Impossible Rogue Nation and Mission Impossible Fallout, all as regular Blu-rays. So I think I, I just want to get the first three as regular Blu-rays. I also want to get a slipcover for this, if there was one. Just because I've got slipcovers for Rogue Nation and Fallout. Uh, the Monuments Men, that was a recent pickup. Never seen it. Uh, the Nice Guys, this is a really good movie. Nightcrawler is a fantastic movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, Night at the Museum 1 and 2. Obviously, I need number 3. Uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake. One Hour Photo. This is an amazing Robin Williams film. If you ever doubted his uh, serious acting abilities, watch One Hour Photo. Um, this is another one that was in my mum's. Blu-ray collection, Paddington. Um, whoa. The live action Beauty and the Beast as well actually was one of hers. Um, but it's now one of mine. Uh, Paul. That was pretty funny, Paul. Uh, Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. Recent pickup, never seen it. Want to give it a go before they release the... Um, what you call it? Uh, the... Uh, Series, the TV series. Uh, Pineapple Express, extended version. This is actually a two disc Blu ray. You got the ex. No, it's not. Is it? Is it a two disc? No, it's a one disc Blu ray uh, and one disc DVD digital copy scenario. I don't know if it's just a digital copy or if it's a DVD. I think it's a DVD as well. Um, either way, I had this on DVD. This was an upgrade, so I'm selling the DVD. Uh, uh, Pitch Perfect. I do have Pitch Perfect 2 as well. I'm missing Pitch Perfect 3. But we'll get to that. Okay, we're there. This is the last three stacks of Blu rays. So let's just go straight into it. Pitch Perfect 2. I'm a sucker for the Pitch Perfect movies. I need the third one. Um, Pirates. Uh, the, the Pirates in an Adventure with Scientists. This is quite a good movie, actually. Um, is it Ardman? Well, it's Sony, but I'm not sure if it's an Ardman. Yeah, it is Ardman. Um, so Wallace and Gromit style of animation. Um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I love this new, uh, the newer Planet of the Apes trilogy, as you can tell. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. War for the Planet of the Apes. I haven't opened this one since I got it, but it rattles. Um, so I might have to open that. Uh, but I want to get the slipcover for this. Uh, but this was from Poundland. Uh, this was in my mum's collection and it's now in mine. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. This is a really fun movie actually. Um, Project X. I'm thinking of getting rid of this one. I uh, don't really like it. It's, it's, it's a found footage party comedy. 
it's halfway between Chronicle and um, American Pie. It's really weird. Uh, Pulp Fiction, Red, uh, Rock of Ages, really cool purple case on that one. Role Models, that's a very funny movie. Uh, Roger Waters, The Wall, haven't watched this yet. Um, need to get around to it, I've, it's been recommended to me a lot. Uh, Rush, haven't got around to watching this again yet. Um, it's one of my more recent pickups. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, one of the first Blu-rays I ever got. Um, Seven Psychopaths, that's a great movie. Sex Tape, this was from Poundland, I haven't opened it yet. Uh, I have seen it though. Um, I actually went to a test screening for that film. Sherlock Holmes with the lenticular slip cover. Shutter Island, great movie. Silver Linings uh, playbook. Yeah, that's a, also a great movie. Uh, Sin City, really like this one. This one on the other hand, Sin City, a Dame to Kill. Social Network, that was a recent pickup. Um, Great movie. Uh, two discs. This was a Powerland one, one of the ones that wasn't sealed for some reason. Um, uh, Sound City. This is a documentary directed by Dave Grohl, who is the frontman of Foo Fighters. Really cool documentary. Um, Source Code with the cool lenticular slip. Uh, Spy Man 1 with a coming apart. Slip cover. Uh, just needs pressing down, I think. A bit. Not sure why the slip covers were made like this. But yeah, Spider Man 1. Uh, and another. Spider Man 2 has also got a coming apart slip cover. Uh, Spider Man 2, which includes the theatrical and extended cut of the movie. And Spider Man. Free. I really like the slip covers for these. Um, I just love it when it, when they match. Uh, yeah, so there's there. there there's those. Spider Man into the Spider Verse. This is a fantastic movie. Um, I saw it once in cinema and I I watched it for the second time the other night. Um, why I don't watch this more often I'll never know because this is. An absolute stellar movie. Uh, Spring Breakers. I actually cannot remember what this film is about at all. I know I've seen it. Um, it's got James Franco, Vanessa Hudgens, Selena Gomez, Ashley Benson, Rachel Corin. It's a two disc Blu ray. Uh, it's got a digital copy which has probably expired. Yeah. Uh, the musty film of the year follows four girls searching for two weeks of sun-drenched partying at uh, spring break in Florida. But when they encounter local drug dealer uh, Alien, played by James Franco, they find themselves being sucked into a dangerous adventure they will never forget. With an amazing soundtrack, Spring Breakers is dazzling cinema at its absolute best. Yeah, I've got a feeling I... I'll watch it again, but this could be one I end up selling. Uh, uh, yeah, who knows. Um, Stand Up Guys, this was a recent pickup. I haven't watched it yet. The Strangers, I really, lo really love this movie. The second one wasn't as good, um, which is a shame. Uh, Stretch, 88% of Rotten Tomatoes. I know absolutely nothing about it. It was two pound a pound, lad. I've, I've taken the gamble. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks cool. It's got a good cast as well. So, we give it a go. Sucker Punch. It's an alright movie. It's it's. This is a movie where it's it's not a great movie, but it's really good to have on Blu-ray because it looks really cool. It looks great on Blu-ray. Uh, the Taking of Pelham 123 remake. This is a great movie. It's a great remake. Um, Terminator 2 Skynet Edition. Um... Obviously, Terminator 2 is a great movie. I've got a feeling this is one of the older Blu-ray transfers, so I'm, I might be due uh, a Blu-ray transfer upgrade on this one. Um, 
<laughs> this, I mean, it says compatible with PlayStation 3, so you know. Uh, the Theory of Everything. This was a um, part of my mum's Blu-rays. Uh, Eddie Redmayne, Felicity Jones. This is a great film, though. Um, so I'm glad it's in my collection. Uh, there Will Be Blood. What a phenomenal film. Daniel Day-Lewis. I mean, come on. Daniel Day-Lewis is one of, if not the best actors of all time. Uh, the Next Three Days. This is an alright movie. Um, this is the end. This is a really fun movie with uh, just, you know, actors playing themselves. Uh, really, really fun movie. I think Emma Stone's in it, actually. Um, I'd have to watch it again. I've got a feeling she is. If she is, this needs to go into my Emma Stone collection. Um, but this is part of those Blu-rays where they would say mastered in 4K on the back to so try and trick you into thinking it was a 4K Blu-ray. Um, Titanic, this came with the 3D uh, Panasonic Blu-ray player. It's collector's edition. You've got the 3D feature part one. Uh... 3D feature part two. Uh, and then you have the Blu ray feature film, and you have the Blu ray special features. So clearly, the um, capacity of 3D Blu rays isn't big enough to fit like a, a good image of the whole Titanic film, which is why it's split into two parts. I did actually see this in the cinema in 3D. Um, I'm not against 3D movies, they just, uh, just, they hurt my eyes a bit. Um, Total Recall, the original, great movie. Uh, the Tourist, this is a fun movie. Uh, with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. Tower Heist, this might be one I sell, this was fine. It's not great. Um, and the, the slipcover doesn't look great on that one. Um, Train Spotting, this is a great movie. Weird how... It's front. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've been film. I've been recording this video for about three hours now, so I'm a bit tired. Uh, it's funny how the front is the right way up, but then when you look at the back, you have to turn it like that to look at the special features. Um, interesting choice, though. Uh, train wreck. This might be one nice sell. This wasn't a great movie. Every time I think about it. Uh, Transformers 2 Disc Special Edition and Transformers Dark of the Moon. I hate myself, but I'm probably going to get the other Transformers movies because it's a bit jarring that I've only got two out of the five or six that there are. I do want to get Bumblebee, though. I actually liked Bumblebee. I liked the first Transformers, um, and I sort of liked Dark of the Moon. Um, the Truman Show, this is a great movie. Viva Vendetta great movie. Valkyrie is a great movie. Wanderlust, I'm not even sure if I've seen this, but I own it. Uh, War on Everyone, this is a really great movie. Uh, Watchmen, I like Watchmen, this is the director's cut. I want to get the Ultimate Cut Blu-ray, which has just come out recently. Um, and I'll probably sell this when I do. I needed to check the run times, actually. Um, What's the runtime on this? Uh, can't find it. Oh, 186 minutes. Blimey. Uh, Welcome to the Punch. That's a cool movie, actually. Welcome to the Punch. Whiplash. This is a really great movie. Wild. This was a recent pickup. Haven't seen it yet. Wizard of Oz. Who doesn't like Wizard of Oz? It's a classic. The Wolf of Wall Street, absolutely great movie. In my opinion, Leo should have won the Oscar for Best Actor for that. Uh, the World's End, this was an upgrade from DVD. X-Men, Days of Future Past, The Rogue Cut. Um, I actually really like The Rogue Cut. Um, I'm kind of surprised they didn't go with that um, version of the movie. Uh, X-Men First Class, this is one of my favourite X-Men movies. Yes Man. I like that movie. And Zack and Demiri make a porno. Not sure about this one. This could stay. It could go. Who knows. Um, yeah. 
that is it. If you manage to count up all the Blu-rays, I applaud you. Um, I will do it, just so that I can see if anyone got it right. Uh, but thank you so much for watching all three parts of this uh, video. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, if you did as well, let me know if there's anything you want me to cover in detail. Let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about in particular. And I'll see you next time.